What is a simp exactly? That is the topic of tonight's coaching video because there are a lot of guys out there and women for that matter who really don't know or understand what a simp actually is. And unfortunately for men, um, <laughs> you should know what it is, okay? Because you might be doing it. So let's start with the basics. What does simp actually stand for? So simp is actually an acronym for sucker idolizing mediocre pussy. Okay, that's essentially what simp actually stands for, right? Sucker idolizing mediocre pussy, right? And uh, even that term in itself, right, sounds derogatory and uh, misogynistic, but that's what it stands for, okay? Um, I don't really necessarily agree with part of that how simps idolize mediocre pussy because usually these guys are after higher caliber women, right? Usually like models, hot girls, attractive women. These guys aren't, you know, idolizing, you know, average looking women or unattractive women. It's usually, you know, pretty good looking women, right? So I don't know about that mediocre part, but essentially that is what the acronym stands for. Okay, um, before I jump into my definition, uh, I'm just going to give you guys the actual Wikipedia definition, which I loaded up here on my laptop, and I'm just going to read it to you verbatim. So on Wikipedia, uh, which has gone woke, by the way, Wikipedia is like super woke now, um, well, probably always has been, but their definition is, simp is an internet slang term describing someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention towards another person typically someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings in order to win their affection which is true this is usually done in pursuit of a sexual relationship urban dictionary defines a simp as someone who does way too much for a person they like okay this behavior known as simping, is carried out toward a variety of targets, including celebrities, politicians. <sighs> okay, this is a pretty uh, woke definition, but essentially they're right. Okay, the only part that they're missing is they're not attaching the fact that most of simping is done towards women. Okay, they're saying, oh, person. It means a person who's doing No, okay, it's mostly men doing this for women. I mean, because they say themselves in their own freaking definition uh, on their website, their Wikipedia website, they're saying it's usually done in pursuit of a sexual relationship. Most women are not simping for men because they want to get sex from men. Okay, so this is where their hypocrisy comes into play. But otherwise, their definition is correct. I just wish they would be a little more genuine and honest and just say, hey, it's men doing this for women. Okay, the reason why Wikipedia doesn't want to say men doing this for women because obviously they're part of you know the uh, the woke mob here so they're trying to empower women as much as possible and they know that when guys become more aware that they're simping they're not going to want to empower women they're going to be like screw that I don't want to be a simp so this is why they change the language and I can't stand that I can't stand that I'm so tired of them trying to cheat and change the language to fit their narrative because we all know what simping is. Simping is when a man is giving a woman way too much attention because he is pursuing a sexual intimate relationship with her, which they were honest about that, but they weren't honest about the genders. They were just like a person doing this, you know, and it's like, again, Women do not pursue men for a sexual, you know, to have sex with them. They usually pursue men for a relationship, and then sex is the byproduct of that. Okay? So, in any case, on with the coaching video. So, that is the Wikipedia definition of what a simp is. Uh, it's pretty accurate, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, correct them and say that it's mostly men simping for women. Uh, very rarely are you going to find women out there simping for men because they want to, you know, ride their pee pee no usually they want the relationship first and the lifestyle and then obviously the sex is the byproduct of that the basic definition of a simp is somebody a man let's just get that out of the way a man who pedestalizes females over himself he prioritizes females over himself man they've got the oh, that's bellagio over here behind me they got the fountains on they're playing uh 
don't know what they're playing back there. But anyway, that is essentially what a simp is. He prioritizes women over himself. He pedestalizes them over himself. This is the type of guy that will buy a woman um, drinks in a bar, right, hoping to win her attention. This is the type of guy who will buy a woman free gifts or give her praise, compliments that she really hasn't earned yet. It's So this is usually a woman he doesn't even know that well in many cases. Okay, But even once, once he does get to know her uh, better and say he gets in her life, usually via her friend zone, he will continue to act out these very submissive, low-value behaviors, hoping that at some point she will see the light and she will reward him for all of these favors he's done her in the past, all these compliments, all of these free gifts that he's bought in her and uh, reward him uh, with, uh, with sex, right? Or an intimate boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, is, which is what these guys are after. Um, because you have to th understand, the thing about simps are they are loaded with agenda, right? This is why they fail. is because women can spot agenda like shit on a shoe. Pardon my French, right? They can spot agenda a mile away. And I'm a pickup and dating coach, so this is what I mean. I teach guys, you know, cold approach, obviously. And one of the uh, main tenets of cold approach, of, of the very first tenant, really, is uh, freedom from outcome. Right? What is freedom from outcome? Freedom from outcome means that you have no outcome when you approach any woman or interact with any woman. By default, that, that removes you from having agenda. <laughs> Right? Because you're just acting through your own intentions. This is something I teach in my dating program, Seven Months to Mastery. If you want to learn about Seven Months to Mastery, go over to my 33 Secrets channel and uh, click any of the links in my description box because that will take you over to my Seven Months to Mastery. Quick plug. But uh, this is why pickup and game is so valuable. A lot of guys write it off like, oh, lame, lame, simping the women. It's like, no, dude, you don't understand pickup and game. No tenet of pickup or game that... Uh, you know, encourages you to simp for women. If anything, it's the exact opposite, to stop pedestalizing women, to stop prioritizing them over you, you know, to stop fantasizing about them and stop, you know, being so over eager to, uh, to have a relationship with them. It's more about uh, becoming your best version of yourself and having value for yourself so you don't have to simp to women and you don't approach them with this agenda or... Uh, you know, outcome dependence. So in any case, uh, essentially that is what a simp is. A simp is uh, basically a submissive male, usually a beta male, who is willing to just push his own needs, his own priorities, his own goals, his own aspirations, his own values, all aside to please the woman. So if you ever look at... Uh, you know, some of these women's marches and you see these guys wearing, you know, the pink pussy hat. What are those guys doing there? Do you think they're there for them, their health? Do you think they, you know, they're there because they really, really want to help women? I mean, even though like deep down they, they feel like, oh, you know, they feel pretty virtuous. But at the tail end of that, make no mistake, these guys are simping, right? Why? Because they think that somehow, some way that this chick will at some point in the future, hopefully in the near future, drop her pants for them and you know jump on top of them that's why guys who are not simps cannot cannot stand guys who are simps because we see through that bs right women see through that bs but they're not going to call you out for it why aren't they going to call you out for it because they want the attention okay women love attention this is the same reason why a lot of women uh, you could go to a nightclub and pick up phone numbers all night long women will be happy to give you that number will they ever answer no will they ever text you back no um but will they ever block you? No. Right? Why? Because they want that attention. They want to keep getting that attention from you. It's like fuel for them. It's supply. Right? Narcissistic supply. So they want you to keep feeding them that attention. They love it. These are things that simps commonly do. Right? And aside from doing uh, women favors, helping a move, help paying for their rent, help paying for their car note, you know, helping to kick some other guy's ass who might have uh, offended them, 
you know, they basically take on the all the responsibilities of being a boyfriend, a protector, a husband, but they don't get any of the benefits, right? They don't get any of the benefits. They get like nothing out of it. The, this is why I always tell guys on my dating channel, the ROI on simping is uh, terrible. It's pretty terrible, right? But uh, essentially, that is what a simp is. And um, there are other terms for... Uh, the word simp, there are other synonyms, so to speak, like white knight, mangina, captain save a ho, basically all the same guy. You can't really be a captain save a ho, a mangina, or you know, any of these other derogatory terms without being a simp. Okay? Can't be a white knight without being a simp. Uh so these are all the same guy. Back in the old days, uh, we just used to call these dudes nice guys, and then it transgressed into beta males, and now we have an even more definitive term for this, which is simp, right? These are the same guys who are, you know, they might be on social media liking all the photos of some, you know, OnlyFans model or some girl that they went to school with. It can even be guys who are actually in relationships, right, with girlfriends or wives, for that matter, where... Um, they're simping to their, their partner. They're simping to her and just being a little too over complimentary, uh, a little too giving of themselves, right? And uh, a little bit too uh, pedestalizing of her. And this usually always ends bad, right? Like, literally always ends bad because the woman ends up losing respect for you. There's a reason why simps usually end up in a girl's friend zone, right? And there's a reason why simps, if they're in a relationship, or once you start simping to a, a girl, she loses respect for you, she ends up cheating on you. There's a reason for that, is because now you're demonstrating to the woman that uh, you don't have a backbone, that you're spineless, and that's not attractive to, to females. Women will always tell you one thing, but respond to something else, right? So they will tell you, like literally, I want a man who is nice to me, respects me, compliments me, gives me attention, <laughs> you know, and caters to me. Why can't I find that guy? And of course you'll think like, oh, I get, I'm totally that guy. I'm that guy, man, I'm that. So that's, that's usually a mindset of simp. Like, oh my gosh, I'm that guy, you know? And uh, so they <laughs> proceed to act out, you know, basically what the woman wants or what she tells them. And she loses more attraction for them because it's like, how can you respect somebody or, you know, see value in somebody who it just doesn't have boundaries? Right? And that's the thing about simps when it comes to women. Is they really don't have boundaries. They don't. They just, they're simps. Right? And some guys, unfortunately, in relationships might start out not being simps where they have the power in that relationship. And then slowly they start simping to the woman, you know, because they're afraid to lose her. And they start sinking into scarcity that they start simping to her to try, oh, I got to fix this. Uh, you know, they go to a relationship counselor and every relationship counselor on the planet uh, is going to encourage you to simp to your wife, right? This is why I tell you guys, never, ever, ever, ever let her drag you to a relationship counselor. Uh, you need a pickup artist, really, right? Because I, I will never tell you to simp to the woman. I'm going to tell you to prioritize yourself over her, okay? Lead your relationship doesn't mean to be, you know, uh, to treat her like poorly, but it just means to prioritize yourself over her because women, you know, they, the way they derive their happiness is uh, vicariously through you, seeing you happy, seeing you fulfilled. So they're basically wired to follow us. But when they lose trust in that and they realize they can't follow you, uh, that is where the problems start. When she realizes that she has to wear the pants, she has to be the man, she has to make the decisions, you see how quickly that little angel of yours turns into a absolute nightmare, right? So as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video, um, anything I might have missed, any other points you want to make about simping, uh, any experiences you want to share, because I'm sure, you know, obviously you've simped, I've simped, right? We've all simped, right? We've all been there. We're not doing it anymore, right? We've learned from our mistakes. It's just sad that there are still guys out there simping in today's time. It's like, dude, there's so, many, so much information out there. You should know better. <laughs> Right? So drop your comments below. Uh, share your stories if you've simped before and how that ended for you. Probably ended bad. So share it with the tribe in case we've got guys who are still simping. They can learn. Right? They can learn. So 
drop your comments below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read them and always very entertaining. So drop those comments below. As always, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my channel. So please make sure you're subscribed to the Alpha Male Secrets channel as well. And for all of you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my premium content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day because they don't like what I am teaching you guys. Okay, and that is the absolute best way to support my work. And right now it's only one buck, who can't afford a dollar, for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And again, this is the best way to support me, support my work, and show that you love what I am doing here. Okay, so it's really easy to get signed up. Just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out. Over here from Vegas. Got an excellent view from my hotel room. We've got the, let's see if I can share this with you guys. We've got the Eiffel Tower right here, and they've got the fountains on over at Bellagio. There's Bellagio in the distance right there. There's the Cosmopolitan. Got the Aria in the background, obviously the Paris Hotel, there's Planet Hollywood, and uh, just here for another month of enjoyment, excitement, need to get out of, out of uh, the city every once in a while, so I just kind of escape here, it's only a few hours from LA, and uh, I usually get a pretty kick-ass room, even during busy time like right now, it's pretty busy out there on the Strip, so uh, got a pretty decent view for uh, booking a last minute trip. There you go. There you have it. If you've never been to Vegas, you've got to come out and experience it. It's awesome. And uh, I love sharing this with you guys. So until next time.